Uh, J.W. Walsh and David Glidden uh, by my side tonight up in the booth. And, you know, both those guys commented that it's the most, you know, filled, I guess, um, that our student section had been um, that they can ever remember. And so the atmosphere was live. Everything was great. Uh, thank you to the fans. I mean, it was phenomenal today and uh, certainly played a big part in that victory. We talked about a lot this season, but Brendan Presley just kind of staying out this game, you know, making some big catches, getting some first down. What does that say about, you know, how he plays in this game, you know, the, you know, the last bedlam being an Oklahoma kid? He plays like that all the time. Yeah. You see him in practice. He's always out there competing and playing. And, you know, when you give the guy the ball, I don't know, it's something weird. I mean, the Joker's, you know, 135 soaking wet. Um, I tell him I eat his weight every morning for breakfast, but, but he finds a way to, to fall forward. And uh, so, you know, he takes a, a, a catch and gets – eight out of it when he should get five. And that's a big difference for us on the next play call. So um, I can't say enough great things about uh, Brennan. He's been like that forever. This is a big deal for him. That's why he was a team captain. And, uh, you know, being an Oklahoma kid, I mean, this is this is all you could want and then a bag of chips, right? So um, shoot, win by three, last forever. I love it. How does, what, how does, what does it mean to win this last Oh, gosh. I mean, it's... You know, it's a, it's a long rivalry, like I heard you know, Coach talking about, 118 years worth, and you get to end it um, on top. And that's a big deal. You know, we talked about this on Thursday. You know, 20, 30 years from now, we'll be talking about you guys and how this game turns out. Um, you know, maybe they remember the 2010 one. Maybe they remember 2015. I don't know. Not, not that those are incredibly special years or something. I, I can't remember. But they'll remember this one, 2023. That's for damn sure. Um, whether we won it or lost it, unfortunately, we came out on top. How does Ollie keep responding to the moment? I mean, they're chanting his name, basically begging you to give him the football in certain times. Like, how does he keep responding to those moments? He's been great. Um, you know, the first thing he saw, you know, today was, you know, he threw the interception. <laughs> Can't, it wasn't really designed to go like that. Uh, but uh, the first thing he said is, I know you're going to chew my butt. And, and I said, man, not tonight. We'll worry about that on Monday. Uh, but that's that's him. You know, he's thinking about little things like that. And, uh, you know, he's done a phenomenal job for us. He stayed really, really focused. And, uh, you know, I just want to keep giving him the football because, you know, he's not a prima donna in any way. And, you know, just he's so excited for the kid. Was that designed for him to throw the ball there, or was it supposed to go back to Goldman? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Rashad Rashad's great. He stepped in at a big moment for us. You know, we've had a lot of receivers go down uh, this fall. And, um, shoot, I the numbers pretty staggering, really, and uh, he has stepped up and, and compensated. He's durable, um, and then obviously Leon steps in. He's durable too. Uh, we see those guys in practice every single day. They're never hurt, and uh, they show up and, and go to battle. And um, they're both, you know, we talked about this also. Is, is Leon's 220 and Rashad's almost 230? You know, so it's going to be hard to bring you down if you make someone bring you down.